Hello friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Poonam Dua and you know these days we are covering some important current affairs questions. This is video number six. We will start from question number 51. 50 questions we have already covered in previous videos. Let us proceed to this video now. Before moving further, please do not forget to share and subscribe the channel. This question, question number 51, 50 questions we have already covered in previous five videos. Please do watch those videos as well. I'll provide the link in description. Question number 51, what is the capital of newly formed Union Territory of Tadra and Nagar Haveli and Daman and Diu? Is it Daman, is it Nagar Haveli, is it Dadra or is it Silvasa? The correct answer is option A, Daman. This is what it is. The two union territories had previously shared common administration, uh, administration and government officials. The town of Daman was chosen to be the capital of new combined union territory. The correct answer option A, Daman. Next question, question number 52, the Unbox Me campaign which was launched recently is associated with which day? International Transgender Day of Visibility, Zero Discrimination Day, World Humanitarian Day or International Day for People of African Descent. The correct answer here is International Transgender Visibility Day and the date also you can learn because maybe that can be the question in your exam. So option A, International Transgender Day of Visibility is the right answer. It is observed on March 31. The USAID launched an initiative called Unbox Me campaign which advocates for the rights of transgender children and people. It aims to raise awareness among parents, uh, parents, teachers, society about gender identity during childhood specifically. The campaign originated in India where more than 90% of transgender people have to leave their homes or are sent out by the age of 15 because of societal pressure. Question number 53. As of 2022, which country is the world's biggest opium producer? Is it China? Is it India? Is it Afghanistan? Or is it Nepal? The correct answer here is a country which is also famous for the production of dry fruits. Yes, the right answer is option C, Afghanistan. Afghanistan is world's biggest opium producer and a major source for heroin in Europe and Asia. Production uh, spiraled over the past 20 years despite billions of dollars spent by um, United States of America trying to stop this poppy cultivation, but it never happened. Next question, question number 54. Which company has launched the Startup School India initiative which aims to gather relevant information on startup building into a systematic curriculum? Emphasis Google, Microsoft or TCS? The correct answer here is Google. Google launched the Startup School India initiative which aims to gather relevant information on startup building into a systematic curriculum to help 10,000 startups in tier 2 and tier 3 cities. Correct answer here is option B, Google. Next question, question number 55. India's first autonomous navigation facility, Tihan has been inaugurated in which institute, IIT Madras, IIT Hyderabad, IIT Bombay or IIT Delhi? The correct answer here is option B, IIT Hyderabad. 
Union Minister of State for Science and Technology Jitendra Singh inaugurated India's first autonomous navigation facility called Tihan at the campus of IIT Hyderabad. All these questions are really going to be very important for you. Both the recent current affairs and or many chances are in all these questions. Ke, in all these questions, may say. किसी भी अपकमिंग एग्जाम में कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम में भी इट सी यू सी ई टी बी इट यू जी सी नेट और बी इट एनी अदर कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम यू पी एस सी भी तो किसी भी एग्जाम के लिए आप इन क्वेश्चन को जो कि बहुत ही रिसेंट करंट अफेयर्स है उनको प्रिपेयर करेंगे तो इट विल बी वेरी वेरी यूजफुल फॉर यू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी सिक्स एस पी आई जनरल इंश्योरेंस हैड अपॉइंटेड हूम As managing director and chief executive officer, Kundan Rawat, Sanjay Kumar, Paridosh Tripathi, or Vijay Kumar. The correct answer here is option C. Paridosh Tripathi, SBI General Insurance, had appointed Paridosh Tripathi as managing director and chief executive officer recently. Let us come to a literature question. Who is the author of the book Getting the Bread: The Zen Z Way to Success? Rashmi Verma, Ashoka Sharma, Prachna Bhatra, or Mohit Joshi? Zen Z Way to Success: Getting the Bread. This book is written by Prachna Bhatra, young YouTuber. Prachna Bhatra's debut book. Getting the bread, the Zen Z success, Zen Z way to success was launched by sporting icon Sakshi Malik recently. Next question, question number five eight fifty eight. Mission Vatsalya, which has been seen in the news recently, is a scheme implemented by which union ministry? And what the scheme is? That also we will come to know. Let us see the options first. Ministry of Education, Ministry of Commerce and Industry, Ministry of Women and Child Development, or Ministry of MSME. Mission Vatsalya. The name itself actually tells that it must be related to Ministry of Women and Child Development. Mission Vatsalya is an umbrella scheme. Let us know the scheme as well. Umbrella scheme for child protection services in the country implemented by this department, Ministry of Women and Child Development. Next question, question number fifty-nine, and an interesting one. Who became the first women and second indian to feature on the wall of former chief economists of the imf international monetary fund is it geeta gopinath is it padmashri warrior is it komal mangtani or divya surya devara out of these four which uh, is the first and second first women and second indian to feature on wall of former chief economists and this proud women is geeta Gopinath, Geeta Gopinath, Indian-born Geeta Gopinath became the first woman and second Indian to feature on the wall of chief economists of the International Monetary Fund, that is IMF, and I'll call this to be a very big, very great achievement. Question number sixty, the last question of this video. Which country has been hit by cyclone Imneti? Cyclones के बारे में information रखना बहुत important है आपके लिए recent cyclones कौन सी country में आए थे what was the name of the cyclone all that you need to keep an eye. Uh, let us see the options: Philippines, Madagascar, Indonesia, or Japan. Out of these four, we are to tell cyclone Imneti hit where. The correct answer here is, as you can see, is Madagascar cyclone Imneti. Madagascar witnessed its fourth cyclone in five weeks as Imneti makes a severe landfall as well. Madagascar is hit by numerous cyclones between November and April every year. 
think about the life of people over there correct answer here is option b madagascar और अगर इंडिया की बात करें तो साइक्लोन आसानी वॉज इन न्यूज रिसेंटली इन अप्रैल एंड मे एंड इट इट हिट नॉर्थ आंध्र प्रदेश एंड ओडिशा कोस्ट सो वी हैव रीच टू द एंड ऑफ दिस पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो दिस वॉज वीडियो नंबर सिक्स एंड वी विल सून ब्रिंग वीडियो नंबर सेवन वे विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी वन You may join the classes to cover all the topics in detail. Can click the link in description to get connected to us for admission purpose. Thanks a lot for watching. Best of luck for your exams, and please do not forget to share and subscribe the channel.